Hey guys, what's going on? It's Fusion here. So I decided to make this rant about, <clears throat> about abusiveness. And I'll tell you why. Because growing up, uh, my dad wasn't really around. He was a trucker. It was just my mom raising three of us by herself. Uh, me, uh, my sister, and my brother. My brother's been in a wheelchair since birth. So you can imagine how it was for a single mother raising three of us, one being in a wheelchair her whole life. And she never stopped, she never gave up. You know, she's the best woman I've ever met. But, you know, that being said, we have had, we did have men in our lives that seemed fine at first. You know, they put on their fucking smile and they buy the kids shit, take them out for this and that, and just put on that fucking big fucking smile and everything seems handy dory until they start putting you in diapers when you're over 10 and choking you on the wall while you're in a fucking diaper or until it's 9 30 10 in the morning and you're still in your room and you just come out you know you're just hungry so you come out and you grab one cookie one and then buddy comes running down the stairs with a spoon yelling at you chases you into your room and then beats you with this fucking shit or, you know, Steve. He used to come into the room and beat my brother and then grab me by the throat and throw me on the bed and choke me. And he would abuse my mom at night. And I could still hear it. I, I still know what it, it sounded like. I couldn't do anything, you know, none of us could, we were just tiny kids, you know, so to you Steve, if I ever see you again, you better run bud, because if I catch you, that'll be the last thing you ever see, that's my word, so, you know, I'm not going to go into full detail about everything that's happened in my life, but <clears throat> just to give you guys an idea, I have been through it as many others have, you know, I don't know what goes through someone's stupid fucking mind when they hit a child, when they could hit a woman, or when, when a woman could hit a man, no matter what fucking, or how it is, I don't know what goes through your mind, but you're a fucking coward, you're a fucking coward, you're a piece of shit, I was walking in Walmart with my wife the other day and my kid, <clears throat> no joke, this is a true story, um, and right in front of us, there was a kid about, I'd say, two years old, if that. Um, he had Down syndrome. Super cute kid. Um, and this fucking loser that was pushing him. The mom wasn't to be seen around. She was somewhere else in the store. And this guy doesn't think anyone's watching him. But I can see him the whole time. And he's going like this to the kid. He's fucking smacking him and shit. And this kid's trying to pull away and cry. And then he grabs his face and he's like fucking squeezing it till his face is fucking red. And this kid starts crying and he's trying to pull away. Oh, so I walked up to this guy. I told my wife to take our kid and walk away. Um, I walked up to this guy and I tapped him on the shoulder. This is like three weeks ago. Tapped him on the shoulder and he turned around and I was like, You motherfucking piece of shit, what the fuck? Just lost my fucking mind on this guy. And he's like, I wasn't abusing him. I wasn't touching him like that. I was just going, oh, 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 blah, 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 like this. As you can see, nails are still painted. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, he was, he was, you know, he's doing, saying that he's doing that shit and all that. And I'm looking at him like, dude, I will fucking end you right here, you motherfucking cocksucker. And then he tries to hurry away. I was like, I got you, buddy. I fucking got you. So I walk, I followed this guy all around the store. But before that happened, my wife grabbed me by the arm. And she's like, you need to call the cops and not beat the shit out of this guy. We don't need you going to jail. So if it wasn't for her, <laughs> I was like, okay, you know what? You're right. I got two kids. It's time to be a little more responsible about this. So I followed him around while I was on the phone with the cops. <clears throat> and he left the store. And just as him and his wife and this kid are getting in the van, I'm like, where the fuck are the cops? I look beside me and there's a cop. And he goes, are you Pat? I was like, yeah, dude, right fucking there, right there. You get that motherfucker right now or I'm going to fucking follow him home. And there was another cop car driving right in front of their van. So he got on the radio. He's like, stop right there. And they boxed this guy in and caught him. 
Greatest feeling in the world. I hope he's rotting in jail right now, getting fucking ass raped. Um, you know, but, you know, props to the cops, but at the same time, I know what they're like. Uh, I got on the phone, and, you know, I know how to get cops to a site real fast. I just started saying I was gonna fucking kill the guy. I was gonna beat the shit out of him until he couldn't breathe. Oh yeah, that got them there real fast. Because otherwise, they're like, oh, okay, we'll get there soon, and they always take their sweet fucking time. So, you know, but props them, they got there fast, dealt with it. So I encourage you, everyone, you know, if you see someone getting abused in public, don't walk by like most people do. Say something and stand up, because even if you get the shit kicked out of you, you can feel good about it at the end of the day, that you tried, you did something. So many people go through abuse and don't say anything, or see abuse and don't say anything, you know. But for us who have been through it, we're more w willing to say something, you know, I think, because we know how it feels. You know, and for anyone who's been abused in their life by anyone, you know, stay stay with it. St stay on your path. Get through it. You will get through it. Don't give up. You got this. Take it from me. Things will get better. I have my word. You know, it will get better. You just gotta, you gotta deal with it properly. You gotta get the fuck out of there. Do something. You know, if you're a little kid, you gotta tell you gotta tell people, you gotta talk to people. Tell people at your school, tell someone, tell any adults, you know, try and get the fuck out of there. And if you're a woman getting abused by your husband, tell people, leave, get the fuck out of there. It's not worth staying. It's not. Because they ain't gonna change. These motherfuckers that abuse people, they don't change. They'll tell you till the blue in the face. They don't fucking change. They're just a bunch of cock-sucking motherfuckers. I mean, how could you seriously put your hand on a, a little kid or anyone like that? Well, who the fuck do you think you are? You th you're so fucking big, eh? You're just so tough. It gets you off. It's such a joke. You're a fucking joke. You know, it's... it's I, I don't know, you know? This is one of my big things, you know, I can't even watch movies or TV shows, I can't, my wife won't even tell me stories that she reads on the news or Facebook about abusiveness anymore, or kids being abused, or kids dying from abuse, I can't hear it anymore, I can't, and that's the truth, I can't watch a movie, I'll turn the movie off, because it, it literally enrages me so much inside that I don't know what to do, you know, I feel like getting up and just punching a wall 50 fucking times over until I feel like I'm okay. You know, until I feel like I'm not that angry anymore. But I've already broken my hand six times right here because of it. <laughs> so, you know, no more punching shit for this guy. <laughs> but, you know, that's why I got so mad the other day when that guy came on and started calling us pedophiles and shit because he's being a troller. That kind of thing doesn't sit well with me. And you're, he's a keyboard warrior, ghost trickster. You're a keyboard warrior, dude. If you were in front of me, you would never say that because that would just fucking hurt you. End of story. That's not something to play around with. You don't go around and call people that, even in jokes. It's just not funny. You know, especially to someone who's been abused, who's grown up with that kind of life. You know. You know, some, some people have it easy and they, they grow up nice and easy and they'll never know that struggle. And I'm not saying that's wrong. Each person grows up them the way they grow up, right? But, you know, to anyone who stands up for another being abused, props to you, man. Props to you guys. Seriously. Don't ever, ever let it pass you by if you see it. Because you can change someone's life. You can save someone's life. So, I love you guys. Thank you again for the support. You know, we really appreciate everything. I think we're at 216 subs, which is fucking cool. It's so cool. Um, we never expected to get there, <laughs> honestly. Uh, we were we were loners our whole life, just me and Ricky. I met him a long, long time ago, and it was just me and him through the whole thing, pretty much. So, to, you know, to have people actually want to talk to us and think we're we're all right and shit, it feels good. It feels cool. So, you know, you guys were 
You guys will always, always be our number one priority. Always. You know, <clears throat> when it comes to this, of course, of course, my family, my kids come first, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Other than that, we got, a uh, fuck, some fan requests coming tonight. We got Naruto coming tonight. We got a, a special, a special opening on one of the Naruto's coming tonight. That'll be pretty fun. Um, and we just hope you guys are enjoying everything. We're trying to get things out and just, we're busy, but it's a lot of fun. So, you know, again, thank you for the support. You guys rock. Um, you know, special shout out to Navar for making the channel art for us. I had one made, but then he sent me one. And I was like, okay, well, I'm obviously going to use Navar's because it's ten times better than the one I made. <laughs> um, either way, shout out to you, you know, Victor, John, you know, Yuri. All of you guys, all my fans, all our fucking subs, you guys fucking rock. Um, I think we're gonna try and start up an animation series, honestly. That won't be for a long time. Um, until we can get some money and get the right equipment we need. But we got a pretty damn good idea of the story and shit, and we think people would love it. That would be kind of cool. But anyways, that's my rant. Um, you know... Again, abusiveness is not okay. And if I see it, I will stop it. And it doesn't matter what situation it is. And so should you. You know? Love you guys. I'm out. I gotta go kick my daughter's butt with water balloons. That's going to be fun. I'll probably get my butt kicked. We'll see you guys tonight. we got lots coming tonight. promise. I think we're doing two Helsing, two Red vs. Blue, Naruto, Ruby, fan requests. A lot coming tonight. It's going to be a busy night. Fuck. Alright, I'm going to stop boring you guys now. I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything. Comment, share, like. You guys are awesome. Peace.